Okay, now I am hoping for everything about this particular snowflake to look just fancy and beautiful. So I like to put a dot in the center, which gives me a really great place to come back to. And I'm almost doing a figure eight in order to get both sides of it done. Okay, so I've got my area that I want to be iced outlined. And your trim flood here is kind of all the same thing simply because it's a small space. Remember, you can turn your cookie. You don't have to hurt your wrists, do crazy pretzel moves. Just turn the cookie. Sometimes when I'm videoing these for you guys, I forget that that is a, a simple and completely appropriate option. <laughs> so I am going to put lines across and I want this pretty intricate. So I'm gonna do, let's see, one, two, three, four, uh, seven. Now let's hope I can fit seven in all of them. I've done three or four and they're gorgeous. So if you're not getting seven on here, you, you are doing just fine. Let's see, that's six, seven. Oh boy. This color combo just makes me smile. It's very vintage. My sister has a uh, 1950s bathroom in her house still. The tile and toilet are all pink. And my kids and I often refer to that pink color when we see it out in public as the same as Allie's bathroom. Um, in every way of admiration, it is one of our favorite things. So I don't know how my brother feels about it, but he's lived there for quite some time and nobody's changed it. So, okay, hopefully I'm pretty even on this. Honestly, I have no idea. So I'm going to pull in from the sides and out, okay, pulling in from the sides just to round it all and then out from the center okay so i can pipe this pretty quickly just by the nature of having done this for so long if you feel like your piping is not quite as fast and you're worried about it crusting before you get to the drags, my recommendation would be to do two or three of the arms of the snowflake at a time. Okay, and I have done that before. It is fantastic for um, for adjusting the timing and being conscious of when everything might start drying. And I'm going to put one of those dragees, dragees in the middle. And let's see, got to find my, there they are, find my sparkles. I am actually using these crystals. Now this is not sanding sugar, this is more of a crystal sugar, reminds me of ice, so I kind of like to use it. And I'm just putting it very, as particular as I can, pinch by pinch in the center. And I'm going to come here and do a teardrop. There is no right or wrong way to do this I in all honesty have an idea in my mind but as I go 
very often I end up with different things. And then I'm just going to put a little dot here to balance out my color. Okay, so we've got just this really beautiful yet simple um, snowflake. And you know, I like the ice in the center. Maybe we could put some toward the edge of each one of them so that it looks totally frosted by Mr. Jack Frost. And I'm just pinching this on. I should probably be doing it over my tray, but such is a, an idea at a whim. Okay, I love snowflakes and these ornaments because you can literally do whatever you want. And this is where we landed, guys. I'm pretty pleased with that.